Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. A capacitor is charged by a constant current, which is 2.5 micro ampere for 100 seconds. As a result, the potential difference across the capacitor increases by 5 volt. What is the capacitance of a capacitor? So there are a couple of things that you need to note. Um, there, there was one question I did uh, recently. And in that question, I told you that the charging of a capacitor is not given in your books. So if the charging of the capacitor is not given, what is this? So try to be careful here. They say that the capacitor is charged by a constant current. So there is no point of transient current. Like in earlier question, I told you that Q can be written as Q naught E raised to power minus T by RC. The current will be written as I naught E raised to T by RC. Even the voltage is uh, given like this, which is V naught E raised to power minus T by RC. These are the formulas for discharging of a capacitor. And at that time, I told you that for the charging of a capacitor, the transient equations need not to be learned by you. So I had not given those equations at that time. Even now, I am not giving you that. Why? Because in this question, charging of the capacitor is taking place, but transient current is not there. Transient current is not a constant current. It is a variable current and it has an exponential variation. But they are talking about the constant current. So we are not concerned about the transient, for the, about the transition that is taking place from one state to the another. So this is kind of simple question, a bit confusing, but simple. So what is happening is we first find the total charge by basically multiplying the current and the time. Also, there is one more point I can make like 100 second. 100 second is like more than one minute. It's like, like nearly 1.5 minutes, isn't it? So that much long time period is not required for the charging purpose. So if you really want to talk about this kind of equations, you must be talking about microseconds or at max one second, not more than that. But he's talking about 100 seconds. Clearly, he is not referring to the transient states. So we are not getting confused. So simple. Uh, we will first find the total charge which is flowing. So this is the current in the micro ampere multiply by the time which is 100 seconds be very careful that all the units should be si so this is the total charge q and q is equal to cv so we want to find c it means that q has to be divided by the potential v so clearly we would be dividing this equation divided by 5 volt because the voltage is 5 we divide by 5 and we find the answer so this it will become uh, 5 this will be divided by 10 because of the decimal and calculation you can do it later so it will become 5 into 10 to the power minus 5 coulomb sorry uh, we are talking about the capacitance so it will be farad but the answers are in microfarad millifarad like that so we have to convert it into microfarad so microfarad will be when you multiply by 10 in the numerator and 10 in the denominator it will be 50 multiplied by 10 raised to power 6 farad which can be written as 50 microfarad which can be written as 50 microfarad and so the answer will be b so this is a simple question and this is how we do this uh, uh, thing we are not going to confuse this question with the charging of a capacitor according to the transient state equations we're not going for that that kind of a thing this question is completely based on a steady state like 100 second is too much so my dear students this is professor varun please subscribe to the youtube channel and also please join the youtube channel if you want to access the paper two questions all the best bye